A clock has 75 centimeters, 60 centimeters long, seconds hand and minutes hand respectively. In 30 minutes duration, the tip of the seconds hand will travel x distance more than the tip of the minutes hand. The value of x in meters is nearly. In given question, length of the seconds hand is equals to 75 centimeters. And the length of the minutes hand is equals to 60 centimeters. In clock, this is 12 and this one is 6. We know within the 30 minutes time, the distance travelled by the minutes hand is only half of the revolution. For one revolution, it takes 60 minutes time. But the given time is only 30 minutes. So within the 30 minutes time, the distance travelled by the minutes hand is only half of the revolution. And the seconds hand takes 1 minute time for 1 revolution. The given time is 30 minutes. So the number of revolutions completed by the seconds hand is 30. Let us take S is the distance travelled by the seconds hand. 2 pi r into number of revolutions. R is nothing but the length of the seconds hand. Length of the seconds hand is 75. Number of revolutions 30. This is distance travelled by the seconds hand. Distance travelled by the minutes hand. Let it be S dash. This is only pi r. Half of the revolution. Circumference of the circle is equals to 2 pi r. Half means 2 pi r by 2 that is equals to pi r. S dash equals to pi r. Here r is length of the minutes hand. Length of the minutes hand is 60 centimeters. So 60 pi. It is very clear to us the distance travelled by the seconds hand is greater than the distance travelled by the minutes hand. And the relation is how much it is greater? The distance travelled by the seconds hand is x distance more than the distance travelled by the minutes hand. S is equals to S dash plus x. From this x equals to S minus S dash. In place of S, yes, 2 into 30, 60, 60 pi into 75 minus S dash equals to 60 pi. Take 60 pi common, 60 pi into 75 minus 1. Given pi value is 3.14 into 75 minus 1 equals. To. Now simplify these values. 3.14 into 60 that means 31.4 into 6 139.416 this is approximately equals to 139.4 meters the value in centimeters 13941.6 centimeters but we want the answer in meters so divided with 100 it becomes 139.4 meters. First option is correct.